Hello there, everyone. I'm your coach, trying a car, and I'm your coach for the San Francisco Swampers, of course. This is week number seven for the Indigo League of Legends, the final week of the season. Really hyped up for this. This week we're facing the Tacoma Trivenites, who's a really good team coached by Kangas Cloud out of the Shroud coming out she log like an Asplog. That intro of his that like, gets me every time. If you have not seen Kangas Cloud before, be sure to head up in the description. It's in the description of this YouTube video that you're watching right now. So I would really appreciate Kangas Cloud and everything else. So alright. Now, I made a few changes to my team. I have Hitmonchan and Porygon too. Hitmonchan is another user of Rapid Spin, whom I feel like is a much better Pokemon for a Rapid Spinner than Avalug. So we got rid of Avalug and we got Hitmonchan to replace him. So, and also I made a transaction trade with the Minnesota Munchasses, aka Isaiah. We got Porygon too. Exchange from trading Umbreon that we had before so and everything else we have our Mega Gengar, Talonflame, Ferrothorn, and Karen Black all those guys are still with us alright so that's the only change we have with the San Francisco Swampers heading in to the final week alright the Tacoma Trivenants has a record of five wins and one loss that only loss came from battling Venus Venusaurus for the Tacoma Trevenants. I have four wins and two losses. Last week was a filler week for us because Blue Shell last week had a forfeit. So we had our fourth win. Be just like that. Alright, from Pokemon left to right, we have Grand Ninja. This is the Tacoma Trevenants team that we're looking at here. We have Grand Ninja. Grand Ninja is really fast. It has access to special moves, physical moves, and can also be a lead set with Focus Sash to set up Energy Hazards. Really interesting Pokemon there. Has a lot of versatility there. He has a Rotom Heat, go Scarf, go Spets. He can also go a physical set with or a special set, whichever. But you can use Will-O-Wisp and Rest and Pain Split. Very annoying. Hitmon, Hitmon Top. I have Hitmon Cam, but he has Hitmon Top for rapid spin support. He has a Tornagus. Tornagus, I have I have used one before, but when you're facing against it, that's not really fun. Tornagus, third in form, has access to Heat Wave, Sludge Wave, you can combine that with his ability Regenerator to get your HP back when you switch out. Nice strategy there. He, he also has access to Knock Off and Air Slash, Hurricane. Mammoth Swine goes for Icicle, Icicle Crash and Ice Shard. And then Stealth Lock. I would love to use my Hitmonchan against Sick to Rapid Spin those away. Jirachi, I'm not really sure what to expect from Jirachi. Perhaps a Wish set or a Draco Meteor set. I don't know. I haven't really seen or faced a Jirachi all that much in a long time. Uh, Weezing. Weezing is a physical tank, which means that we have to use special moves on it. And he can also use will o Wisp to burn opponents, Pokemon, or my side too, as well. And Neo King for Sheer Force Life Orb, or Scarf Sheer Force. Sheer Force gets rid of secondary effects of moves and powers them up by 30%. Trevenant, the mascot of the Tacoma Trevenants, is actually a really good Pokemon. I I saw Kangaskrog use him in last week battle with Mac or the Green Bay Pasharisu. Trevenant was a star in that battle, so we have to use our Talon Flame against Stick to use Brave Bird or Fire Blitz for the kill. And we have Lily Colo for Rain Dance shenanigans to power up Water type moves from Grin from Grin Ninja and Hurricane if Tornagus is going to use it and then Logi Colo's moves as well. He has access to Swift Swim to boost up his speed even further. Kecleon, I'm not really sure what to expect from Kecleon. 
Patreon can go for a support set with Thunderwave and Trick Room, which would work against Trevenant, who's really slow, or Weezing, if he's going for an offensive variant somehow, he can use Trick Room to make slower Pokemon move first. And then, finally, we have Starmie. Now, Starmie can go for Rapid Spin as well. I don't see him bringing Trevenant, or, I mean, Starry or Hip and Hipmontop, uh, because they both have Rapid Spin. But I do expect Kanga to bring a Trevenant, uh, Greninja, Rotom Heat, and Tornadus. So that's four. Uh, possibly Weezing for a fifth slot, and then Loli Colo for the sixth slot. Or, instead of Weezing, he could bring one of the two Rapid Spinner Pokemon. Either Starmie or hit him on top, so, I don't know. That's my guess. Uh, and on my side, we're going to bring our Mega Talonflame, and then, uh, no, not Mega Talonflame, I mean Mega Gengar and Talonflame, and then Ferrothorn. I believe I'm going to try using Karen Black again, Choice Scarf. I'm going to bring Behem, that's four, and then hit on Shan for the fifth slot, and then for the sixth slot, it's going to be a toss up there. I might pick up either Ditto, or Flygon, or Gastagon. I don't see Manshaw, or Wigglytuff, or Flygon being useful in this fight. So, we'll see what happens there. Alright, that's the analysis video for this week. If you enjoy this, be sure to hit that like button, and subscribe, and look forward to the final battle of the season, where San Francisco Swampers are taking on. Kangas Cloud out of the shroud, coming out you loud like a gas cloud, and the Tacoma Trevenants. See you guys later. Alright, goodbye, Kangas.